Well, the reason why I decided to, to play on and not retire, obviously, is the opportunity to live in LA, the life experience, not just from a rugby point of view, but a life experience. And for myself and the family, it was one too good to turn up. From a rugby point of view, I realised during COVID and lockdown, you're a long time retired. So as long as your mind and body are still able, and I feel like I can add to the team and, and be part of a winning culture and a winning side, uh, LA it was just too good to turn up. To be part of a, a new franchise uh, where everything you're creating is new. Everything you do is history uh, for when you move forward. For me, that's incredibly exciting to, to set the right culture, have a winning attitude, have a family feel, know that the kids and families, the wives, the partners, um, of the players are always welcome and they feel a part of the journey as well. You know, that excites me that we are creating history every day uh, being part of a new franchise. We're creating history for the LA Guiltinis. I think rugby in America has huge potential. Uh, if we're successful this year, uh, not just the LA Guiltinis but the MLR as a competition and we start to grow awareness, the game's just going to grow. You look at the population alone that's in America, uh, the percentage of players that actually don't make it in American football and they have another path or another sport to get excited about, it's, it's incredibly exciting. I think also a big part of why I decide to come to the LA Guiltinis is the program that they're setting up. You know, they've got an academy, they want to get the youth, uh, get the players from an early age uh, invested in rugby so that by the time they finish college, they're, they're ready to step in a professional program. And for me, that, that's a real driving force for me as an older player. You know, you, you want to pass on any type of knowledge you can. You want to develop young kids so that uh, I think America gets excited about rugby because if, if America's excited about rugby, they'll invest in it, they'll start from a younger age. And I think with the talent pool that they've got and the population, they're, they're going to be an unbelievable force in world rugby.